Hey, this is Mr. Mitchell with another video on sound. Here are your questions. Two singers sing the same note, yet they sound different. How is that possible? Well, most sounds are not single waves, but combinations of waves. And you can see down here that you could draw a line for the pitch that covers the whole thing here. But there are lots of little things that make up this sine curve, I guess you might say, of sound. There are little parts, little combinations that combine together to make the pitch. So whenever you have two singers that are singing what is supposed to sound the same, it might not sound exactly the same. So different combinations of tones can actually produce the same sound. Now there's another factor in that uh, a way a sound starts or the way a sound stops. If uh, one singer had a real high pitch and start out really high at first, and uh, this person had the same pitch but kind of went into it a little bit, then, then that also affects it a little bit. Talking more about sound, oh, my bad, here, before I get to that next point, here is something called an oscilloscope. Oscilloscope, I suppose I should type it out for you because it's pretty hard to just type right out. Oscilloscope. And I'll make it bigger for you here. An oscilloscope here does kind of a unique thing. An oscilloscope will take the sound that comes to it. Say it's one of those two singers in the first thing, in the first slide. And it will take that energy of the sound waves that they produce and convert it into a sine curve. And you can see a sine curve right here from what this oscilloscope has done. Okay, on to the next part. This next part is about an uh, interesting phenomenon called the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is this. Have you ever been standing in one spot and maybe a train or an ambulance whizzes past you? Well, the pitch suddenly seems to drop after it passes by. Say the train is going ding, 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 but it doesn't sound like that whenever it passes by you. It sounds like ding, 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 ding. It, it kind of appears the same to change pitch, but you know that train is not really changing in pitch. It's doing the same thing all the way down the track. Ding, 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 ding. But like I said, you don't hear it that way. And what the thing that you hear is that you hear the smaller wavelength here and the higher frequency and the lower wavelength and lower frequency here. Now here's why. Because if you have something that is moving and making sound, it can actually catch up to the sound waves that it's giving off. And that's exactly what's happening in this case. We have a police car. Police cars has its siren. And since it is catching up to its sound waves, you will have a lot of sound waves in a short period of space, I guess you might say. Uh, so the sound waves that reach you, let's say this is you here, you know, a nice drawing of you there, nice shirt buddy, or ma'am, whoever I'm talking to. But anyway, the sound waves that reach you are closer together. So it's going to have more frequency and it will have a different pitch than it would if, you were if it were just sitting still. So here as this person is hearing from far off, they don't hear from the same frequency or pitch because it's going the other way. The sound waves are catching up to it, but behind it, it's leaving these big gaps in the sound waves. So that's 
whole phenomenon is called the Doppler effect. Ding, 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 ding. Over time, here's another point. Over time, distance and time. Bleh, I'm not speaking very well today. Let me start over. Over time and distance, sound waves get weaker. Say somebody speaks, the sound that comes out is can be graphed in this particular sine wave, sine curve here. Now, the, the noise I'm making in speaking is very similar. If you're around me, you can hear me. The waves will keep going farther out, but eventually you're just not going to be able to hear me the farther away you are from me. Eventually, the sound is undetectable. But what's going to happen is the pitch does not change. Now, when I say pitch, I'm talking about the frequency not the distance here, but the frequency as to which you, where you get the tops of these curves. So, in essence, what happens whenever you get uh, farther and farther away from the sound, it's going to do kind of like this. You still have the same distance between the crests and between the troughs, but what's going to happen is you just don't have as much amplitude. You may remember what amplitude is. Amplitude is the distance between the mid bar, which is going to be the x axis for those of you familiar with that, the distance between the x axis and the top or bottom of the of the crest, or I guess it would be to the crest or to the trough. It'd be the same distance. But that is what whenever that's what ends up going down when minimizing whenever you are speaking and your voice just ends up fading away. Hmm. So if you change the intensity of the sound, you can change the amplitude. If you change the intensity of the sound, you change the amplitude. So, uh, you know the word amplitude. Amplitude comes from like amplifier. Hey, there's an amplifier down here. But you can actually change that and go up and down with these sine curves. Don't hear very much, but hear a lot. Don't hear very much, but hear a lot. Notice what stays the same. What stays the same is going to be the frequency, as long as you keep that same pitch, which you would in this instance. Now, one thing that can happen is, in changing the amplitude, you can go up, or you can go down. If you have an amplifier here, you're going to increase the amplitude. And you know every time, I know this amplifier, you'd plug in like a guitar to it and it, it amplifies throughout the concert hall or throughout the room. But even if you're just turning up and down the radio, you're changing the amplitude. You're going up and down with this sine curve. But it's also a very common thing in cars. In fact, it's almost an essential thing in cars to have a muffler. A muffler, as you imagine, will muffle the sound that comes whenever you have to run a gasoline engine in a car. It lowers the amplitude. So it's going to make it where it's not as noisy, I guess would probably be a good way to put it. Acoustics. Acoustics is the study of sound. <coughs> the study of sound. How it's produced how it's heard. Now it just happens to be that this same word acoustics also refers to the way sound waves behave inside of space. Like if you're standing here inside this padded room here, <coughs> pardon me, the acoustics of the room would be different from this room here where people are playing their instruments. So those are two different ways you use acoustics and you can probably tell what these rooms are here. You have a Acoustical engineers that design buildings and rooms to reduce unwanted echoes. Here you have a band room. Notice these panels on the wall here. There are these panels on the wall of many band rooms. And you can imagine what's happening. It is reducing the amplitude of the sound that comes out. Here's another way you can do that. You've got foam on the wall. Now, if you go to a recording studio, you, I think it's a common thing to find foam as one of the things that helps reduce it. But over here, you have something a little bit different. 
Here you are amplifying it. Now I'm not sure how you would do that because I'm not an acoustical engineer, but you have to notice that there are these things that are right here and the shape of what's going up is just straight up. You have these solid panels that are going straight up. So with these big speakers here, I imagine the panels especially probably have something to do with how it can reverberate through this particular concert arena right here. And also notice everything's going straight up right here and I'm just taking good speculation. I hope that that was something that would help the acoustics. Hope you've learned a little bit more about sound.